All right, time for an update on our lithium iron phosphate battery, high performance battery. The new inverter is here, the 12 volt, uh, 12 volt, 3000 watt pure sign. So we'll at the very least be able to uh, load this battery with 3000 watts, right? We'll see how the heat signature of this thing is. And then from there we'll decide if we need to like maybe get another one of these and then load it with 6,000 watts. You know, I don't know, we'll keep going, right? Until we find the, <laughs> the failure here. But definitely I do want to see what the capacity of this uh, these boards are gonna be. So let's plug this all in and get it going. All right, so here's our typical setup. We have the battery. Uh, we have this connectors using uh, probably two thing wire, six gauge wire. Here's our inverter, can do 3,000 watts, 6,000 watts, PF, or whatever, search. And then our load is just gonna be, uh, well, what is this? 2,400 watt heater, I think? I don't know, we'll see how much we can push it. Uh, hopefully we can, we can load it with 3,000 watts. So uh, the inverter has this uh, nice little frequency, 60 hertz, there we go, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn one of these guys on and then and then turn the knob and then that's gonna start, ooh, 1300 watts. Now this is the first time this inverter is powering up. So it's always a possibility that it blows up because these are cheap Chinese electronics basically so um, oh I should probably oh look at the cells they are they are uh, let me put my clamp to see how much power how many amps DC. So 59 amps, right? Okay, let's see here. Let's load it up more. Okay, so okay, so that's a thousand watts. Here are the cells. They're sagging a bit. Uh 86 amps nothing is hot yet let me back up turn the second now we just turned the second uh thing so now we're turning the knob there's 1200 Okay, there we go. 1200 watts, 1300 watts, 1400 watts, 15, 16, 17, 18. Man, these packs are sagging more than I thought it would be capable. So there we go, 198 amps. And see, now they're down to 3.1. <laughs> so that's 200 amps. Okay, so this is the peak of this system here. Of the this is this fully on, so it's low, I guess it's only a 2,000 watt heater. So that's 200 watts. Let's leave that there for a while, and then put the thermal camera and see that. All right, so here we go. That's the battery there. Um, those crimps are kind of hot. I think those, I soldered those too. So you can see, yeah, that it's, it's creating some heat in there, right? Where those are where those uh, terminals are at. Let me see what the wire, well, I mean, it says right there, 45 degrees, the wire is what's really getting hot though, right? 
Oh yeah, the wire is a bit hot. 200 amps, remember, we're doing 200 amps. <laughs> the, the cells are staying at 3.1 volts so far. The inverter, the fans haven't even come on. So I'm gonna have to put another one of these cables. Woo! Yeah, this cable's getting hot. Look at that. Oh, let's look at the, hey, the connector's not. The connector's holding out pretty well, actually. It's just, it's just the actual cables, the six, six gauge cable. So I'm gonna go get another cable. We're, I'm gonna charge this battery again because see, see where we're getting here? These cells are starting to see some heat, but these are not because, well, there's probably some resistance in there. See how this block of four cells? The center one seems to be pretty even, but it's the same thing over here. You see that battery there? So these four cells, yeah so if i get another set of cables then those cables will not be the source of such so much heat. yeah 50 c's yeah let's cut this back and uh let me go get more of another set of those cables and then because the inverter has another input so you know we'll we'll run this more properly wire so that we can really see what the heat is going to be but there you go that ran 200 amps right for a couple of minutes and there is the heat signature on that that bus bar there but if we load it up more evenly then let's see how that's going to spread maybe these two at the end is going to look just as cool as the uh the ones on the in the center there let's do that all right now i have uh connected a second pair of wires right so now there's gonna be a much even uh, flow, or the load is gonna be evenly distributed through all these cells. Um, I recharged the battery because, well, we took some a lot of energy off last time, so now it's not perfectly balanced. I'm kind of balancing this thing. I just found this. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here so it's perfectly balanced Let's, next time I do the test. I have my clamp over there, and it's going through both of the wires so that it can record all the stuff. Let's turn on our inverter okay 2000 watts hey look at that there's uh less 170 how is it 10 amp out uh, 10 amps less because it now because it's flowing better well that's very interesting okay so there's some sag saggage going on here 3.1 right 3.1 all right so i connected the other heater here and now Interestingly enough, it's only 2,200 watts. That's interesting. But uh, now we're closer to the uh, 300, so it's uh, 291 amps. So, okay, so there is the image. So that cable is not crimped very well, I think, huh? What's going on here? But look at that, you see that? You actually see a line in the middle of that plate. That is very interesting. Uh, 289 amps right now, continuous. We're just gonna keep this going until the battery uh, dies, right? So it's gonna be continuous. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> the, of course, the inverter. The inverter is the one that's going to die. There's smoke coming out of it. Oh, my God. Okay. Pieces of junk. Of course, a 3,000-watt inverter is going to die at uh, 2,200 watts. Yes. Oh, my God. Well, as it turns out, the cheap inverters are cheap inverters, and you can't run 2,200 watts on a 3,000-watt inverter. 
Um, I will uh, get, maybe I won't, I don't know. Maybe I won't get that same one, but maybe another different brand or something, get two of them and run them at half the rated capacity and maybe they'll survive so that we can load this with 300 amps or 350. I wanted really to do 350 amps just to see um, see the, the thermal thing. I might have to get rid of these holes here because there was a very distinct line that was starting to form here. And this is, of course, this has never got hot. Like this is like just slightly above the ambient temperature, right? But it was only a few minutes. That was the problem. Okay. This test is to be continued. We'll see you in the next iteration of this test. It turns out it's uh, challenging trying to get load up a battery with this much amperage. All right, see you guys in the next one, bye. All right, so this inverter is kind of crappy, at least this version of it, but I think there's something wrong with it because I loaded it up with 2,200 watts. This is rated at 3,000 watts with surge power 6,000 watts. But I think the problem was, is that the fan doesn't work and so there's no airflow and I loaded it with like at least a couple minutes I think of something of 2200 and then smoke started coming out of it so I think there's something wrong with this one I'm gonna return it I will get another one and uh, then see if it does the same thing